Tonight, the words of support for Jewish people targeted by the latest hate speech this weekend. It continues to pour in from politicians to local leaders and more. In the last hour, the governor's office released a statement saying, quote, through legislative proposals, laws and decisive executive action, Governor DeSantis has a proven record of supporting the Jewish community and fighting anti-Semitism and the boycott, divest and sanctions movement in Florida. Now, on Saturday, someone lit up the side of the stadium in Jacksonville with an anti-Semitic message supporting the rapper formerly known as Kanye West's recent racist rants. News 6's Eric Von Inken continues our coverage from the Jewish Community Center in Maitland tonight. The Jewish Community Center serves, of course, the growing number of Jewish people here in Central Florida, our friends and neighbors, but also people of all faiths. The sad reality is, though, anytime there is anti-Semitic talk anywhere, they have to react to it. The armed guards with military-style uniforms out front are just a way of life for the safety of the Jewish Community Center in Maitland. A threat assessment team here monitors the anti-Semitic talk nationally and locally, like the hateful words this weekend displayed on the side of a stadium in Jacksonville, echoing rapper Kanye West's recent anti-Semitic messages. Kanye West has more followers on Twitter than there are Jews in the world. So when he speaks out with hatred like that, he's reaching more people than there are in the entire world, more Jews than in the entire world. He has an incredibly large platform to spew his hate, and he did, and continued to, and continued to. And how does that affect you here in Maitland? So it's continuing to be alert. It's continuing to monitor what's going on. It's continuing to make sure that we're doing everything we can to keep everybody here secure, uh, not just here on our campus, but all the Jewish organizations in Central Florida. Keith Dvorak, the CEO of Shalom Orlando, which includes the JCC, says he is extremely grateful for the people who have spoken out against the hate against Jews that rises up again and again. Why does this keep happening? Eric, this is a thousands of year old issue. So for us to think that it's not going to happen um, is abnormal. New England Patriots owner Bob Kraft sponsored the message this weekend, broadcast in NFL games across the country, urging more people to speak out and stand up against anti-Semitism. We have to speak up. We have to speak out. You know, we've had this conversation far too many times, and we have to say that all hate is not acceptable, period. End of statement. It doesn't matter who the group is that's being targeted. None of it is acceptable. And if we speak with loud voices, things happen. And as for those hateful words displayed on the stadium in Jacksonville, the local sheriff's office there is involved. So is the state attorney's office. So is the FBI. But they remind people... It's not a whole lot they can do, at least criminally. They say it's not a crime. It's just free speech. At the JCC in Maitland, Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6.